All right, so here we are at week one, and I know some of you are ready to get started, so I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to what we will be doing this week. We'll be covering gender and culture and how these two forces influence our behavior. So each week I will have an announcement that summarizes the basic tasks that you're expected to do. Now this first week I've kept things fairly light because I imagine that a fair amount of your time is going to be spent just getting used to the course because I imagine most of you have not taken any kind of online course before. So the first thing is that if you haven't already watched this uh, course orientation video, it reviews the syllabus as well as some general points about how to use this online course on Blackboard. So please take a look at that. Then every week there will be some uh, signed reading that you need to do in your textbook. And if you watch the course orientation video, you would have seen that I also provide a reading guide to help facilitate your note taking. You're also expected to watch a video and contribute to the discussion. And then finally, you'll be doing a weekly quiz. Now, one easy way that you can get all of this information is by looking at the course schedule. All right, so click, I clicked on syllabus and resources over here. And you can see in addition to the syllabus, there is the schedule listed right here. And you would click on that to open up the schedule. And on here, it lists the topics that we will be covering the reading that you're expected to complete, any sorts of videos or online reading that you're expected to complete, and then the graded activities that you will be doing. So you can see for this first week that officially begins Monday, there is this assigned reading and I have also listed it on the announcements page. Here is the name of the video and you'll find that in the learning materials and then you are expected to uh, provide a brief introduction. And then next week we get into um, a little bit more material and I will summarize that in next week's announcement video. All right, so I've come back to the main announcements page just to show you that typically the easiest way to access the week of learning materials is to click right here on this course link and it will take you right to the folder that contains all of our learning materials. Another way that you can do it though is to click on this link right here in the menu, Learning Materials. And I explained this in the course orientation video, but I'm just going to re explain it. Click on the module where we are. And of course, for the first week, we are in Module 1. All right, so you click on the title here, and you can see there's a summary of our learning objectives for this week that's listed here. We click on the title to open up the folder to be able to access your learning materials for the week. Each week you'll see that there will be a reading guide at the top to help facilitate your note taking. Most weeks there will be a folder of web links and videos, but this week we only have one video. And so all you have to do to get it started is to click on watch video and it will open up in a separate window. And then the quiz is right down here. Now the quiz is not timed. You have as much time as you need. You're welcome to use your book, your notes. You're welcome to use the internet. But I do expect that you will complete the quiz on your own without the help of a roommate, a partner, family member, or a fellow student. You may take the quiz two times, and whichever quiz results in your higher score, that's the one that will be saved to the gradebook. Now let me show you about this uh, group discussions board. So we click on here, and it's going to take you to the group page. Now because I'm the instructor, I have a whole bunch of groups, but you'll just click on the only group page that shows up. So let's say you're a member of the Terriers group. You click on that to open up your group page. All right, so you get to your group page, and you can see I've given you a short description of your group, and I am a dog lover, and quite frankly, I just thought that naming the groups after dog breeds would be more interesting than calling you group A, group B, group C. And come on, that's a cute little dog right there. Um, right here you can see the names of your fellow group members, and then these are the various um, online course tools that you'll be using. The only thing you have to worry about for this week is the group discussion board. Your first task for this week is to introduce yourself. And you can see I've offered a summary of what you're expected to do right here. You're going to give a brief introduction. And then as people post their introductions, I want you to read through it and find two people that you share something with. So I've already gone ahead and provided my introduction of myself, but I just wanted to remind you, I believe I go over this in the course orientation video, but I wanted to show you how you can create your own discussion thread 
All right, so there's my little intro right there. But for you to create your own introduction, you'll click on Create Thread. And your subject header would probably just be your name for this week, although most weeks you'll have a slightly more interesting and specific subject header. You'll go ahead and type out your introduction right here and then click Submit. If you only hit Save Draft, nobody but you will be able to see it. So that's no good. I mean, it could, you might do that if you're going to write a little bit and then leave for dinner and then come back. But if you want us to actually be able to see what you wrote, you need to click Submit. Now, if later on you are reading over your own entry and you realize that you didn't really like what you said or there was a typo and you'd like to fix it, you are able to actually edit your discussion board entries by simply clicking edit. And you're also welcome to delete it if you, for some reason, decide to rewrite it. Uh, that's up to you. So you can see I have my information right here. And so if you wanted to respond to me, you know, maybe you lived in New Mexico for a little while you would hit reply and then go ahead and enter in um, your message and maybe change the subject header to something that we share like I'm from New Mexico too something like that <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna end up here back at the announcements page and I'll draw your attention to the fact that I would like your first discussion board contribution to take place by Wednesday night normally discussion board contributions don't have to be in until Thursday night but I've moved it back just a little bit because Blackboard will be down all weekend. So I'd like for you to be able to engage with your peers earlier in the week rather than later. But usually discussion board entries, uh, you'll have to have one up by Thursday night. Otherwise, everything else is due at the end of the week. So I haven't, if I haven't stated a due date for an assignment, it's the end of the week, Sunday night or Monday morning. Discussion board is typically the only thing that has to be in um, midweek. All right, that's it, and I look forward to uh, meeting you online, and a great first week. Bye-bye.